the beats. Hello, white people. <laughs> With almost no sense of rhythm. From Hollywood, California, Harmon Town is now in session. Spencer Crittenden. Spencer. And the mayor of Harmon Town. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I was just watching Lady Gaga's uh, halftime thing. It's pretty awesome. I, 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 it's, I, I risk nothing by saying I, I, I admire Lady Gaga. I, I'm no, no one's going to boo me for saying that. Uh, I, I, li- I liked her. Well, one person wants to be special. That's more just you cheering yourself. Cheering narcissism. Like, I'm not your average fan. <laughs> Like people on Twitter, they're always right, right, tweeting at me and going like, uh, "No, you won't say anything if I, unless I say something negative." So fuck you. <laughs> just kidding. I love your work. <laughs> it's like, just you're not wrong, but I like, like, like. <laughs> but I block people that do that because I'm just like, "Fuck you." Then you're worse. You're worse than bad people. Like, I, like if you if you if you truly love me. <laughs> Just you. You should accept my uh, laziness. You should be my codependent lover. You should. You should just support me, and my good mood should be your good mood. You shouldn't need anything from me, or I am out the door. And you know that about me. You've learned that about me. You've put up with four years of abuse. You've lied to doctors for me. Too soon. Too. too, too too soon. What, what 60,000 years of misogyny. What, what, what was it, Dan, that struck you positively about the uh, Lady Gaga? For, well, first of all, her fucking, not only her, but well, just her wire work in general, just as a decision, is always an amazing. I, I admire anyone who chooses wire work. Uh, from she, she from Garth off. Brooks to Beyonce to anybody. I thought, like, I, I thought, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you, if you say bring out wires, you, I'm already on your side. I'm not, I, I, I don't. I'm not going to side with gravity. I don't. I, 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 I don't hope you fall and hurt yourself. I admire you, and I wouldn't be willing to do it. But then, in, having chosen wires, she didn't just. Now, Jeff, as you know, I've been in the shit. I was at Radio City Music Hall. I wrote for the 2006 VMAs. Beyonce, Queen B, she came plummeted down on some fucking wires. I watched her rehearse. She's a pro. Uh, uh, stunningly gorgeous, amazing woman, great wire work. She's she's great. But Lady Gaga. So many years later, starts at the top of the stadium. She, she jumped off the. She Eiffel jumped off Tower. like a regular person, like 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 like. But then it cut wide, and she was doing this like Spider-Man like jiggle on the way down. And I thought that was a cool thing to commit to because here's here's what I liked about Lady Gaga's performance. She did everything that I would do if I was in <laughs> wires. Like I, I I would also have do, I would also do that on the way down because I'd be like a little spider. <laughs> She didn't try to like you know like act like it's natural that she's you know, like Helen Slater and Supergirl. Also, I I, I want to give uh, some props to the people that created that rig because those harnesses. Cause she was wearing like a like a very small skimpy outfit. She, she has a very tiny rig underneath that, and that's not comfortable. Like for it for that for that to work, it has, like it's tighter than you want it to be for that to be like a, a safe mechanism. Yeah. So like she, she committed to. You know, lip syncing a whole thing, but like, there's no way to sing when you have that thing on you, because she's wearing yeah. a, a girdle made of girdles. But she took your your lover, your your life partner, your so uh, church. We were, we were watching in the green room, and she said, "Yeah, she really successfully took a Super Bowl halftime and made it just look like one of her videos, which is a huge feat, like for the whole team." I I thought it would look I thought it looked wonderful. I I I I, I don't I don't understand uh, uh, what what was Neil Patrick Harris trying to tweet when he said he was gagging over her halftime show uh, uh, because she's the best. I think maybe did he mean to say gagaing, or or. Or is this new? Is this new uh, slang from the streets that I gotta catch up to? 
Man, I was gagging. You're amazing. Your haircut's making me gag. What? Fuck you. Mm-mm. Gotcha. It's the future. Now, now is, is, is NT here tonight? No. Uh, 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 NT, Kwaku, uh, he, uh, he, he tweeted, he goes, I actually really like that. Like, he, he was down for that. He, th- he thought that was super cool. But I think more importantly than Lady Gaga's performance, I think it's time to have a good old-fashioned sports corner. <laughs> Well, Jeff, I gotta tell you, I mean. No. So, where do I start with the, the fact that the Falcons lost a 25 point lead in the second half of the game? Oh, oh shit! Oh, Wait, did this you... is the first Super Bowl in history that was won in overtime? Oh, this guy did homework. <laughs> Yeah, because I was looking for Lady Gaga's video. Okay. I, I, I got spoiled. Aside, aside from Tom Brady, name one other player. Bill Belichick. <laughs> because I also saw Richard Spencer's tweet. So Richard Spencer was given... He's, he's now on Twitter. He's like a racist gourmand. He was like, he's like, I'm going for the Patriots. And he had a little checklist. It was like, uh, uh, Tom Brady and Belichick uh, both support Trump. Uh, more white receivers. Like, he had all the, he had all the racial stats for the Patriots. Patriots. Yeah, yeah they, 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 the only team with three white, white three white, white wide receivers. Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah like he loves he loves how white the football team is, and, 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 team, and so that's like, but it's like typically typically people who are giving you sports statistics are helping you bet and win, but he's just like, you know, my money's on the master race, and you know, it's not really that's not smart money is not on Aryans for athletics since like the 1936 Olympics, like. <laughs> Like, it's never been. Like, we settled that a long time ago. Steve Bannon looks like a... Steve Bannon looks like the nope. time I tried to he shave like, my sack. He, he also... And absolutely failed. As I tweeted today, he looks just like Bill Belichick. They both wore the same headset. Beards are in, Steve Bannon. Like, like you, you don't even have to look the way you do to grow one. Like, 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 like you should grow a beard. That is uncomfortable, that face. But he... That is the face of someone who is huh. proud of their race. And he also has straight up like WC Fields gin blossoms. Like he's clearly oh, his, his eyes are like oh, they're like they're like welling with blood tears. Uh, he, no, he's... it's like it's like the nerdy version of the of the uh, Casino Royale bad guy. <laughs> like he just has a blood stigmatism in both eyes. He's a he he's a he's a he's a terrible writer. He's a terrible person. And uh, and and, and uh, I, I, we got to get him out a bit because he's going to oh, fucking kill me. I thought, I, I thought you were going to say we got to get him on the show. No, no. <laughs> he, you saw the thing. I retweeted it, uh, and you guys hang on my every tweet, uh, <laughs> and, and and you rehang on on my every retweet. Um, there was, a, but they, one of his, he he wrote a movie treatment. He wanted to be, you know, he's like a hack that like had got a piece of Seinfeld somehow. Yeah, like, oh, he's, really? he's, got, he's got points in Seinfeld. He used to be in Hollywood before all of this happened. Yeah, that's what, I think that's what gets my goat is that Trump and Bannon they both kind of re- are, represent the things I hate most about myself. Right. Like other people are like Trump reminds me of my dad. I'm like my dad is way cooler than Donald Trump. Like like, like it's me. It's like who who does this remind me of? What Donald Trump tweets? It's like oh it's me. It's me. It's like like like, uh, like, like it's just bad. All the things that make him a bad person. But anyways, but Steve Bannon like reminds me of the bad writer part of me. And he he like he, he there was some treatment that surfaced. And it's, it, 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 it's it's documentary style, of course, because hack Hackenstein. Um, uh, there's there, like like no narrative but nuts at all. No narrative butts about. No narrative butts. No cuts. No narrative no, coconuts. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, put, push, push episode the, title. Episode push title. the structural button. Pull the dialogue chain out. Come chocolate poo poo train. <laughs> Shoot your train. All right. Anyways, but, 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 but there's a, a treatment, and it's like, and, and he, he he refers to Islamic fascism, but he spells it fascism. He didn't. What's the deal with this face? Is that like a thing that was that like a British thing? Because too many people are worried about fascism. <laughs> Wait, are you telling me you can spell it that way? I don't know. That's what I, I want to uh, know. Because I because it was so delicious that he just never looked up many, the word so fascism. Too many people are doing it, and I don't know. I uh, haven't bothered to look it up. 
Does anyone has anyone seen it spelled fascism in the audience? I mean, is that is that like they spell favorite with a U? And uh, that's my that's they, what they I'm wondering. I, I don't think so. I I'd believe that many people are stupid, but it's just striking. <laughs> I don't understand. Well, I don't know. There's, my favorite new thing is like all the like armchair uh, electronic forensics that go on. Like when when Trump when the the sheet left off the it said the, there was like the phone log of all the leaders Trump talked to, and then it was like President of Mexico talk to him, President of whatever, President President, and then it was like. Uh, uh, it, it just said, uh, talk to Australia, or something like that. <laughs> and it, it didn't have the guy's name, and it was... Uh, or did it say president of Australia, and then left they it did like, At some point, they had president there, yeah. But they... Uh, yeah, and somebody said, like, oh, if you Google president and Australia, it, 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 there's no Wikipedia or Google, or Google hit that comes up, so they just left it blank. I'm like, oh, my God. I love the, I love the backtracking and realizing, <laughs> like, what... Like, the, that with un, unprecedented, too. I, I, I did the same thing. I typed in unprecedented. Presidented and um, something came up that uh, I can't remember. I, I, I remember re- this was thinking you can realize, like you can f- walk in the shoes of, of, of stupid people, um, and, 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 and go like, "Oh my God, they, that's what happened!" and and and, the, and they're running everything, and it's amazing. Um, but but it's you know yeah yeah you know we're nor it's it's getting normal. We're normalizing, right? That's what we're supposed to do. No, it's getting totally normal. Is, 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 is there a William Ralph or Ralph William here in the crowd? Woo! Yeah. Is there? Uh, were your grandparents born here? <laughs> Get the we, fuck Because we've got a new segment for our show. <laughs> uh, what, 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 why did you want Ralph Lauren to... <laughs> is, is it William C. Ralph or Ralph C. William? William C. Ralph. Uh, d- uh, did you drop a credit card by any chance? Oh, I might have. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm thinking you must... It's almost a guarantee now. All right. Would you happen to know uh, the last two digits of it? Seven, seven. Nope. <laughs> is that, is that also, Ralph, Ralph, that, that, Ralph Lauren's worst nemesis? Like he's always trying to... No, no, no. Ralph or William, I, I have your card up here. You, you dropped it. So if you want to come up and show me some ID, I'll give it back to you. Nice. Or I keep it. and Or I just announce... You have ten seconds before I read the entire... <laughs> four. Eight. Eleven. That's not even. <laughs> All right, Ralph is at the podium. He's showing the ID. I like that we have like two two factor authentication here. <laughs> no, wait, we had a guy lie to get on stage in San Francisco. I don't oh. trust these fuckers anymore. Yeah. Ooh, what was the guy's name? Zane. That guy was Zane. a piece of shit. <laughs> I I I. When he came up on stage, I missed the fact that he said to Dan and to their audience that he had lied about being a Trump supporter to get on stage. I'm so happy I didn't hear him say that because I would have summarily thrown him out of the building. (laughs) His suicide thing notwithstanding, I still would have made a a, a point of telling him to fuck straight off into the night. We, like, you can't just lie to get up on stage. We would, we would prefer you did not do that. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. I, I, I feel bad to make this guy show me ID to give him his credit card back because I don't know what world we live in anymore. <laughs> that, that might have been Adam Goldberg wearing, a, uh, uh, wearing high heels to get up here and take this guy's credit card. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, Adam, you here? Oh, you son of a bitch, Adam Goldberg, everybody! No, uh, no, 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 no! Well, well that you said the magic that, words. That did <laughs> no one to blame but yourself. He's, I just, I, I just. I just Beetlejuiced you up yeah, on stage. He's, yeah. he's three times more deadly than Beetlejuice. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Why is that so terrifying that you're here of all times? Because the Patriots won. And now you New fucking, England. you New England asshole. <laughs> the, the overdogs won, and it feels so good. Oh I've been a God. fair weather fan for 15 uh, years. I, 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 I watched a lot of Super Bowls. I'm going to hit your music cue so quick, you're gonna, your head's going to spin. <laughs> 
He has a music cue? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to play a musical sting to get him off the stage oh. at, at any yeah. moment. Uh, I, I, I accept that, damn it. Let, let's, let's reconnect, Adam. What's, what's been going on with you since we um, last night? I started a company. It's doing really well. And I'm trying to start a political action committee with Spencer. Um, That's he about as far started as started DMing I, me about a political action committee. <laughs> you responded. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Oh. <laughs> This is about as far as we got. I this think is, this is more than we've talked about. You, I think what he's saying is essentially technically accurate. <laughs> yeah! You guys are in direct contact with yeah. each other, and it is I an know, ongoing is channel step. of communication. We did talk about a we, thing. We've uh, elevated it now. <laughs> uh, what, what's your philosophy about political action? I mean, a lot of people, any port in a storm. I, oh, like, God. Yeah. Like, if you got ideas, like, well, I, I want to hear them. I love that the, the America's premier Nazi is saying, oh, it's white people who did it, while the, like, four catches were done by a Jewish guy in the end zone. <laughs> like, are we white? Are Jews did white? Did you just ignore we, my question? You just, I, you didn't even, that's my political... <laughs> You're, you're just like, anyways, fuck seat. off. So here's my first bit. <laughs> you didn't even hear I believe me. I'm, I'm one of the hardcore people. I, I went to a symposium on the letter from a Birmingham jail, so I do have a nuanced opinion on this. But uh, I do believe you should that's what I've, jaw I, jack I've, Nazis I've always lo- I've, What I've always respected about you, Adam, is your nuance. <laughs> We, we, we all agree you, should, you, you can yeah. punch Nazis. Yeah. There's, there's ongoing low, debate about whether that's helpful or not. Yeah. But, when but, they but, go but, low, you stomp on their Nazi skulls. But, uh, <laughs> but that's not your committee's That's, uh, not, that's, not, that's not what we're uh, can I, raising can I, money for. Can I punch up your slogan? When <laughs> they go low, me. we go high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Missed it, Jeff. Can't believe I that bought me another just high five, sure. Adam Gold. He wants, <laughs> he wants Jeff. He wants you in on this. By yeah. the way, uh, count me uh, in. You're I'm, the, I'm in. You're I'm the in. political party animal. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, uh, man. What, what's my what would my uh, task be? Schmoozing, schmoozing, and boozing. Schmoozing. Well, I'm I'm halfway there. <laughs> Jeff and I are officially patriots now. We're men of political action. We're going to use our white privilege. To I'm help. a falcon. I'm a falcon. <laughs> nice. Uh, not, well, then I'm where I outrank you. I'm a patriot. Boo. I thought I'd get boos for that. I just can never predict. Oh, patriots I'm, like the football well, team. Yeah, patriots, kind of falcons like the football team. Essentially the same joke Jeff was doing. Oh, you're right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what is your... What is your action committee? Wait, no, I can't stomp that. Robert Kraft gave me that hat. Oh, we have to. You, the, the names you drop hit the floor like like a like a like a tarantula that's eaten too much rice. Like a like a tarantula is notoriously explode if you if they fall from higher than three feet. They hit the ground like a Tom ba- a Tom Brady pass in the first half. Of the <laughs> You're game. right. Uh, the the um the what what but because it's important we're we're getting we're coming into an age now. It's like all right, there's this groundswell of political action, which is fantastic. But with that comes like anxiety about like okay, so now how do you tell the brave souls that that are right minded that are going to make good coordinators and and whose cause is worth uh, congenial around from the people that are just like get your hot dogs get your political action here got a got a t-shirt from a, with a phrase on it and all the money goes to our meetings and we're gonna hang out and talk about action yeah i want to tell everyone here that there is a lot to do in your local community we see la as like this liberal bastion but we still in california incarcerate more people than any other state we still have people being fined and arrested for being late to public school and we still have a lot of work that we can do here. So yours is a local. Uh, you're, you want to f- focus on the local. There, are, there's a swing district up in Palmdale that we can turn to a, a Democratic seat. But this is okay. This is singing a tune that early on in the early apocalypse, kind of like foreshadowing kind of days. Yeah. That's it this was, is this was the guiding light. Although the really hard to digest one because it just takes so much work. But it's like the idea of like political parties going back to being political parties, d- d- making Democrats be. <laughs> Like, it, in your local neighborhood, the reason why the burnt church gets repainted, the reason why you have a blanket, the reason why whatever, whatever, whatever shit goes down, like, have a, even if it's a sub-faction of Democrats, before we would talk about third-party stuff, which just feels like a fucking self-defeating thing. It's, it's a conversation, not as a solution, there but just as a conversation. There are two parties, and we have to work to... 
We now know that those parties mean nothing. I mean, yes. we, we know that those parties, are because or one, one was hacked and one almost splintered and got beaten by the hacked one. So that's actually, quote unquote, good news is that the bipartisan system actually got functionally like jailbroken. It got, it, 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 and, and I think that's a, that can be a really good thing because it means the Democratic Party could actually be simply as the Republican one was. It's 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 ready for throne. You can yeah. just yeah, and, and and I think instead, whereas it's a primitive thing to think about. Oh, where's my where's my big strong hero mm-hmm. leader that's gonna like show represent all these things? Like if the Democrats now could rise up as the mm-hmm. Borg cube that they are and take over the Democratic Party mm-hmm. as a Borg cube and say, no, we're the fucking Democrats. We represent the majority. You can't beat us. We're a fucking credit union politically. <laughs> like we got we got experts on the ecology. We got experts on equality. Blah blah blah. Uh, we we're, we're, yeah we have to tech. Technically, have a presidential candidate, but you're, but, but they're, they're, they're nothing. They just like they're a civil servant. They're, mm-hmm. they, they, we've, we've, we tested them like an astronaut to see if they could uh, <laughs> legalize abortion in zero gravity, and uh, <laughs> and uh, it makes aftercare easier for the procedure. But anyways, anyways, I, I, I I'm, I'm, I'm jumping, but, 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 but that sounds like good, a good start. I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're thinking yeah. about local stuff. That seems like a good idea. That if, if that could sh- shoot spores out to other districts. That are maybe technically red because of ten people or twenty, you know. It's or, like, and, and then like take those over with action. That's just like, well, I'll be darned. These these people care, you know. They're not yeah. just playing a game of chess against a red red team. Yeah. I would make the point that the ideas that made the Democratic Party so formidable between I'd say 1920 and 1960 were ideas that America is still interested in. The idea of fair wages for fair work, the idea of environmental protection, the idea of strong banking laws that protect the little people. But this goes back to an idea you've always had, and when I explain it to Lyft drivers, because those, those poor people, I always go That's back to your That's step quote. four of the yeah, plan. Step four is the Lyft drivers. Talk to your Lyft driver. It works. They are all woke. But it goes back to your idea that power corrupts not when you have it, but because you want it. Mm -hmm. And in the 70s, a lot of people came in after Watergate and said, all government is corrupt. We need to get rid of everyone who's been here more than 10 years. A lot of those people who got kicked out were people who fought big banks during the Great Great Depression. So you can overclean house. You can get rid of allies because they don't agree with you on all issues. There are some things we shouldn't uh, uh, collaborate on. There are some things we should stand firm on. But... There's a great number of people who want to hear our message. There are a great number of people who uh, haven't heard the message but would be amenable. And there's a great amount of people who not didn't vote because they didn't care, but didn't vote because they couldn't leave work or whose votes weren't counted or weren't able to see themselves in the process after what's happening to them under neoliberalism. These people... This is the first time you've ever gotten applause. And... <laughs> Four years of I our did show. once in Adam versus Spencer, I think. I, I think. <laughs> um, what, all right. what, uh, Spencer, what is your relationship with Adam in this in this whole thing? Uh, uh, when did you guys become as, as we as we said, he DM me about this idea. <laughs> yeah. And now he's here. All right. I would have typed it out more. I would have no. typed it out more, but I've been having carpal tunnel. My question is, weeks. if I didn't accidentally, I didn't know that you were here tonight. If I didn't accidentally conjure your name up, would you have, you would have still made your way on stage tonight, wouldn't you? I'm you would, sure. have, you would have found a way. The dark no, magics that. are powerful. Too. This is... A- <laughs> This I is adult Adam. Solely. We got to remember our podcast has been going on for like five years. Like, like, like Adam's like like twenty eight now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, no, he's, I've he's had growing. bursts of this, but a lot of it was me being a lowly, underemployed Hollywood person. He's like, if I could get a writer's job on Community, all my problems would be solved, and I would be likable. And it's- wasn't the case. Yeah. <laughs> no, wait, wait, a, wait, that was your angle in the beginning? To, yeah, be, to be a writer in community? You can get the top writing job at community and go forever unlikable. Like, I, like, <laughs> it, 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 Dan, there's wh- no likability why do, why do you fountain just hi- at that job. Hire him right now as head writer on community. <laughs> <laughs> I dec- Finally, I can say, yes, I am Adam F. Goldberg. Um, I did produce it. All right, Adam, for those of us that did smatter that applause and like, like <laughs> that you're thinking that you're thinking local and, 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 and what could be more foolproof than because because even if it turns out to not be the way to turn the whole world the other direction, you still as a loser will have helped 
the the world that's real around you. So I I, I am adding my smatter to the, yeah, that smatter I would say, applause. I um, appreciate that. So uh, how do we business. how do how do people that agree that oh, you know okay I could use some yeah. direction and, and and something to do on Sunday or whatever. How do how do we find well, your uh, if you're hardcore into wanting to organize other people, the SDS is always trying to find new members. Uh, become I was a Democratic at- Socialist today. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we have we a uh, member that's of the... Our, that's our uh, cheer. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> we got we have a member Fat of the Sioux Nation back there. That's... <laughs> and remember what color Re- Fat Albert's sweater was? Who it, right. what, what, what were you yelling about, sir? Or, or ma'am? The part... Oh, okay, okay. You're just yelling about Democratic Socialism. Okay. That really what... He was right. That's yeah. your cry. Okay. Hey, that's hey, your hey, hoo hey. Hey, hey, hey! Uh, all right, so, 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 but, but your organization, you're not, you, you have nothing to plug yet. That's no, what, no. Okay, fine. So we, we, we sign up to be socialists, <laughs> just willy I mean, nilly. If you Google Democratic <laughs> Party or whatever party you're in in your local area, you will find groups. There are Facebook groups, there are meetup groups. There's, there's everything from picking up trash on the side of the highway to, you know, phone banking your senators. There's the, uh, I think, eleven uh, actions. There's a, a movement to like have something game. that you can do every week to help bring about the country that you want to see. Yeah, okay. you can follow Adam Ultraberg on Twitter. Um, <laughs> eventually, I will stop posting about the Patriots, I promise. All right, well, And uh, the jokes will be just as good as these. <laughs> All right. Well, let's quit while you're ahead. Adam yeah. Goldberg, everybody. Adam Goldberg. It's a whole new world, Jeff. Oh. We're through the looking glass, man. Yeah, I just... Adam Goldberg did a victory dance off the stage. It the, was good. The president's at war with Arnold Schwarzenegger's ratings, even though it's a show he runs. Uh, like, 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 that's it. Like, pay, pay attention to that, by the way. Bad businessman just he, makes bad business decisions. It's like, it, I, I mean, say what you want, but you got to say that man. That he's a man of faith. Yeah, no, he he's a he's a true he was Christian praying hero for those ratings. You know, yeah, I, I I but also yeah, I mean, congratulations if you're a four chaner that 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 wanted to hack the government and get this guy elected uh, like he's a a flavor of Mountain Dew that you could make Hitler. <laughs> Uh, very funny bit, but now the guy that's going to bring about the end of net neutrality has been put in the, you know, whatever. He's got his, 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 his chairman in charge of vice assistant cybernetting or, you know, is, is some guy that just fucking hates net neutrality. What is net neutrality? I don't know. I know it's better than non-net neutrality. I know that the end of net neutrality has something to do with a world where you and I can have political opinions and no matter how popular they would get, get in an open idea marketplace, they might be fucking absolutely inaccessible uh, by virtue of the Walgreens or, or you know Netflix next door to you cybernetically that just needs more fucking data. Like you, you poor people will no longer be able to spread as much information um, as uh, corporations, and that is a really really slippery slope. Net neutrality. Uh, uh, Donald Trump clearly, obviously not a fan of it. He's not. If you asked him, he'd be like, I don't. What does that mean? Does it make my scalp smaller? Um, <laughs> Uh, is it something I can grab, rape, beat, uh, make fun of? Is, is, was my was my dad afraid of it? Will the ghost of my father mock me while he punches the ghost of my wife at the uh, or at the foot of my bed? Uh, uh, it, it, because if it doesn't fit into those slots in my gradually micro stroking seventy five year old brain, um, I don't know what you're talking about. So he puts some guy that knows a lot about computers in charge of all computers in the world and. Uh, so, good job, 4chan. I, I'm which I think is on the internet. The, the place where you got together and elected this guy. I'm, I'm worried that if he stays in office long enough, uh, you, the, uh, the world's uh, tie fabric resources will be depleted. <laughs> Probably in like in six months because he his tie really goes down to the tip of his yeah. mangled dick, his his assuredly mangled dick. Absolutely, his, his wife won't live with him in the White House. Like like it's the best house. Like how fucking repellent and repugnant I didn't and read bad that. in bed and disappointing of a fucking human male do you have to be for your wife to go? Eh. <laughs> 
I, I, I don't want to live in the world's most famous house. I'd rather live in our shitty apartment building surrounded by a fucking police state. Uh. <laughs> that we're paying. He's so fucked up, we have to pay for his wife not wanting to fuck him. <laughs> ah, Jeff. I don't know. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't read about any of that. But, oh, well, so, here's we're it. Here's, we're, we're, uh, apparently the taxpayer, because she wants to live at the Trump Tower, she's going to live in a golden building, and it costs the taxpayers $400,000 a day for her police detail to, to, to make her live at home, not at home, the White House. <laughs> She doesn't want to be around this fucking piece of garbage. You saw them dancing, and it was a bummer. When he, when he started singing My Way? Well, he, 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 he clearly was saying things, and she was like, she was like oh, please, please, just stop yeah, it. Just, 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 hey, just, just, she's just saying to herself, just get through whatever contractual period I'm, like, confined to. I, I, like, as Church said, like, uh, my gal, she's like, she's like, he didn't expect to win. She thought they were going to lose and she would divorce him. Now she's stuck with this piece of shit. Well, this is his third wife, right? Third? At least. Right? That we right? know about. Third? The, the, wasn't the second? The first one was an American model, right? Like, uh, there was Mar- Marla, that was Marla Maples. Maples. Right? Wasn't there a second middle one that was... Uh, 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 and, and, and she was sort of a I don't want to I don't want to use this term disparagingly to somebody that I really don't know or if, if this is an offensive term but she was essentially a mail order bride right like 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 she was a she she, she was also a, like a Russian model or what or what was uh, uh, Ivana Ivana Trump first then Marla yeah wait was it, so 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 wait so who's the I get confused because who so this is his third wife right yes. okay. So this is his third wife. It's his second non-American wife. And I'm not going where you think I'm going. I'm not like Alex Jones going like, no, wait a minute. I, I, I just mean, I'm, I'm just talking sexually. I'm talking about psychosexual politics. I'm talking about like, okay, so first you have like a woman from your own country that, uh, you know, it, it just was born within the same sort of, you know, glass ceilings aside, the same sort of sandbox you were in with the same rules and things. Then she's gone. She's out of there. Um, then, like Howard Hughes in The Aviator, it's like, you know, Catherine Hepburn takes a hike, and then you cut to the airplane hangar scene where Howard Hughes is, like, bringing underage girls in and, and going, like, stop right there, 300 meters away. You understand you'll be an employee contracted to me, and you'll do what I say. Okay, turn around. All right, wipe that lipstick off and stuff. You know that scene in The Aviator? Come on, it's your favorite movie, right? <laughs> <laughs> You've watched it 75 times because you have some perverse fantasy of being a American. America's most famous mentally ill entrepreneur, um, <laughs> because it reminds you of yourself. Like, and so I thought, like, like what? Um, the, the that's how he found Spencer. But, the, but, but, so you have that scene, like, and 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 and, and maybe ladies cover your ears. I don't know what's going to offend you here, but so when I, like, I, I, I would say don't. I would say, I would say hit record. I just I, when I say when I say cover your ears, I just mean like don't judge. Like, I, I, for a second, if you will, if I be, be candid for a second, like. Guys do like like we go through ups and downs, and we do like like when we get our hearts broken. We I think there is a tendency like to like we we have these like things we do, especially when we're young and we're still learning how to interact with people. We go like we swing the other way, you know, like 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 from whatever previous relationship. Like we think we're going to fix things, and I'm sure this is not totally exclusive to men, but I'm just talking to the guys because guys are kind of inherently, you know. We're misogynistic. We're inherent. We 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 love slash fear slash worship slash hate despise these these this this other creature that we that has so much power over us that we don't understand. We just want them to like us. Blah blah blah. It makes us behave in all these fucked up ways. We've been socialized not to share those feelings, cope with them, connect those to the feelings that are also fucked up with the other person, and achieve that. You don't start learning that stuff until you're 44 and rich and already <laughs> divorced and uh, and are like finally opening the hood. A little more than two inches on the fucked up car that is your life. So, you, um, so you, you, you're, you're keeping us very general for every for all men. Yeah. This is stuff you need time and money and the inclination to examine, and I don't blame your average 40-year-old guy that has a lot more work to do uh, for not getting there. Wait, this is a tangent. I'm just saying, here's, here's what I'm saying in the crassest terms. I'm like, if your first wife was like just like a, it was an American model, and then your second wife was a Russian model, and then your third wife was a Russian model, 
Here's what I'm assuming about the third marriage. There's preconditions up the fucking darkest yin yang imaginable. <laughs> like because there's no other difference. He didn't he didn't go to French model. He didn't go to Japanese model. Like he went he was like I like me those 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 Eastern Bloc women, um, and here's another one. I'm guaranteeing you, there's some fucked up differences at the outset of that relationship that result in those that face that she's making that that broke your heart because you said oh, it was, yeah. reminded you of what you do at the Apple Store. Right. <laughs> Spencer said that's, that's the face of a customer service rep. Right. <laughs> so uh, you know you do the you know you're smiling and they turn around and you're like. <laughs> Then you're God. just back to no, hiding yeah, everything. Yeah. She's a hostage. It's the worst. Yeah. Uh, anyways. It's um, sad. I mean, I, I, I mean, benefit of the doubt, I'm hoping that she doesn't want to live with Donald Trump because he's a gross, p- perverted asshole, and she wants to take care of Barron. Like, you know, like maybe he needs special care or whatever, and she doesn't want anything to do. kids are out limits. Huh? No. <laughs> Like, like, I mean, I, I, maybe she's an awesome mom who doesn't want to be involved in that circus. Like, I, I'm hoping that that's the case. But one thing's for certain, she doesn't want to be around him. And now we have to foot the goddamn bill. And we have to be around him. I know. <laughs> it's we're, like we're the, we're, the, we're the most victimized neighbor in the world to that <laughs> fucked up relationship. Like, the, 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 the caretaker at the Overlook Hotel had it better. <laughs> Scatman Crothers, Dan. He had a name. Um, uh, the, 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 okay. So, okay. So here's the thing. So, uh, cap, capitalist, what do you call it? Uh, uh, what do you call it? Activism. Consumer activism. All right. So, Uber, we fucking, the people spoke with their money. And then but, he quit. And then he, he pulled out of the thing that was egregiously like, like, oh, I love Trump. And I think maybe issued a, Statement that kind of disavowed the. He whole said, I, "I didn't want this to be about po- po- politics. I just wanted to be about being part of the thing." And but, no, it, it hurt his bottom line, and he and he fucked straight so up. So the question is, now I'm having a disagreement with Cody about this because she's like, "Oh, you can reinstall Uber now," and I was like, "Wait." Fuck him, no. <laughs> Off with his head. Like, he'll be fine anyway. Like, let him just drive all Republicans around. But, but, and, and, and I'll see you at the finish line. But um, he, he was already a but, prick but, before But this. she's got a point, too, though. Yeah. If, you're, if, you, if we actually want to, if it's about, you know, it's, not, it's just about swatting. And I don't know. It's like a very interesting argument. She's like, oh, you can take an Uber now because he, he, he got hit and acknowledged he got hit publicly and and kowtowed to the will of the people, what you don't want to do is continue to just grind his well, face into the dirt. Did he, I mean, like, I, I don't want to say things and be fake news about this, but, like, hasn't there already been, like, a lot of, like, uh, mistreatment of his workers? I would say oh, that yeah, we no. should have stopped using Uber well before yeah. this. Because and, I, there's loads of sexual assault charges. Right. Uh, his workers are really ill-treated. You guys like, really high-roaded me. Well, no, like, I mean, I, 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 I'm I a big lift guy, that. though, because I just like being able to tip because I'm just like, now I can give them however many stars I want. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm paying Here's for it. Here's the weird thing about Lyft, though, that I that now that I've switched and I'm not going to go back. I'm, I'm I've learned to cope with Lyft and, and and it's not as it's not as bad as it was when I stopped using it. Yeah. Um but it's like the form I just I I'm I'm never going to give you less than 5 stars unless you like like run over my dog or something. <laughs> but if you give less than 5 stars, if you press less than 5 stars before you submit, it says how can how can Rashida improve? Um and uh but if you give 5 stars, as tonight, you know, Rashida drove me uh, here in a lift and then it, you give 5 stars and it always then the, it says like what did you love about about I've about never, the, I've, Rashida? I've never, I've never had that feedback uh, thing. Like, like it's well, right there. I mean, do you not? No, like uh, I, I, I've only given less than five stars maybe two or three times ever, and I take Lyft all the time. No, but I'm saying when you give five stars, the question changes from what would you improve to what I, did you I, love. I'm saying I've never gotten that feedback loop thing where like, where, like I, they've oh, never asked man. me, tell me why you gave five stars or tell me why you didn't. I've never seen that. They probably I think don't you need care to about update your app, motherfucker. No, it, sounds, it sounds like I don't. <laughs> well, yeah, they, why they, do they added the this? social anxiety feature <laughs> because yeah my point is like what do you type does anybody ever type anything like I, I start I was flirting with ironic things like 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 the stars in his eyes or like <laughs> like like but but I don't want to confuse people I, like, I've, I've never been asked to weigh in on why I've only said that you, you get to rate them and that's the end of the transaction all right well to tell you the truth I thought 
that was going to be a half hour of the show was talking about that, but now we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> it appears that's a dead Is end. there a Thomas C. Howell here? I have your credit card. <laughs> Thomas C. Howell? The, the actor? I, I, just, I, I have a load of credit cards up here that people have drawn. <laughs> I think he's been killed by Rutger Hauer. <laughs> Rutger Hauer. God damn it, Harmon. Fucking get your shit together. See, you, you, I, I, I can never keep track of whether you are with the Apple Watch or against the Apple Watch. Well, I'm trying it, goes... it again tonight. It's just, it's Cause so, cause I had it. so few notes, I thought, well, well, I'll just put them on my watch yes. instead of my... Like, fucking... God damn it. <laughs> you, you, you wear your Apple Watch like Rip Taylor decides to wear his toupee. Sometimes yes, <laughs> sometimes no. It's like, a, it's like a hat you decide to wear sometimes. <laughs> Talk to each other. <laughs> what? Our woo? I can't. Three PO. Where could he be? Where could he be? So uh, that brings us to technology corner. You have the theme. Technology corner. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Steve Levy appeared like a fucking wraith. <laughs> That scared the absolute ah. shit out of me. What do you want, with Steve Levy? You can say it in the mic. Say it in the mic. You can't say it in the mic. Say it in the mic. Rob Schraub is here. Oh shit! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Rob Schraub theme. Oh, Rob Schraub. Yeah. Oh. Rob Schraub. Rob Schraub. Rob Schraub. <laughs> All right, Rob fantastic. Schraub, making a uh, thanks for coming. You, you, I feel you, like I invited you. <laughs> did you? You guys were really because you did. You, you did do that, didn't you? I th- I feel like it. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. You feel like what? I invited you here. Yeah. Because there's no guest tonight, and then those guys both they came in the green room, and I started to I was like, it's fine. There's no guest. It's good. There's no guest. And then and then, and then the, these guys came in one by one. And everybody, Levy, Jeff, Spencer, they were like, is there any, is there any guest? Uh, and then and then and I was like, nah. And like and then they each kept going like, did you try? Did you try Dino? Did you try like all this stuff? I was like, Jesus Christ, you guys. I'm sorry. I don't think I said that. <laughs> Yeah, just little old me, but then you showed I, up like I, I a like, miracle. I like no guests. I, I think some of our best shows. Are I can leave. No <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I drove by Schraub today while he was uh, walking his dog, and then we texted back and forth, and then it culminated in, in me just saying he should come on the if show. You, if you were in like uh, earshot of me walking my dog, you could have heard me Siri going. Uh, uh, a text dungeon master <laughs> what do you want to say to dungeon master i love you <laughs> it's true that's you, what you said. spencer's name saved as dungeon master yes what, what, what i got derek mears as jason Voorhees. i got jack black as jack austin i mean it's yeah. it's kind of like the 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 ultimate phone it really is the ultimate phone <laughs> I, I'm jealous that you've been hanging out with Matt Berry this whole time, and was that? It was pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't hang out the whole week. Just, just, just the one night. Because uh, Toast of London is the goddamn funniest TV show of all pretty time. Funny. If you don't know it, Toast yeah. of Check Motherfucking London. Check it out. Holy smoke, funny. that's funny. Well, okay, so that's what's been going on. You're hanging out with Matt Berry. Yeah. Not bringing him by here. Well, he left yesterday. <laughs> because. <laughs> Of something I said? Because <laughs> of I my show? Him, no, no, no. Well, if I stay longer, I'll have to be on his podcast. Yeah. No, he, he was... Uh, I want to go back to London. Then, uh, no, he was, uh, he was in uh, Eureka for a month shooting a movie with uh, Aubrey Plaza and now is, uh, is just came here for a week to hang out. I only saw him one day. Did you get these yet? Oh, that's not... Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what was that? I'm curious. That about was that. an iPhone charger. Are they, are they pills? Did you get these yet? Are they? Oh, what are they? Airbuds. Airbuds. Is that what they're called? Airbuds. Airbuds are the d- dog that plays basketball. Yeah. <laughs> they're called Airbuds. Thank God they got rid of the wires. Because now you only look. <laughs> you only look like a complete douchebag. <laughs> If, he uh, he I, can't I, hear us. He's I, lost in the groove. I, 
I love music, but I would rather never hear music again than be caught wearing those fucking yeah. things. Carry on my wayward son. <laughs> There's just what so keeps- much that wires offer in headphones. What Here keeps they- keeps them from falling out no. of your ear holes? Well, the same thing that always did. Your ears. Yeah, They're but wedged you- in your ears. But they, if, never, if, they never if, fell out. If, they haven't fallen out since 2010. They changed the shape. They wedge in their ears like little arrowheads. But if you yeah. drop if you drop one, you're out a whole goddamn I, thing. I, right? I don't wear I don't wear those because I lost so much hearing because of those. Uh, the older one. We'll get to that in a second. <laughs> Wait, there was some. Oh, the only thing I don't like about these, I thought I was comfortable with like Ray Kurzweil's uh, singularity. You know, like I, I'm ready to become uh, part of the part of the computer world. But then these things, they know when they're in your ear, and I was like, I'm out. Nope. <laughs> when you put them in, they go funk. They make that like the, that activation sound of like a, a Bluetooth device. Oh, yeah, they go, I don't like that. I'm like, why do you know you're in my ear? What are you measuring? Light? Wax? Spider eggs? Yeah, I mean, and I was like, why don't they go home when you put them in, put them in your pocket? Like, like, like why? Uh, you, they but they, probably, maybe they do, and we can't hear them. And, and they're, just, <laughs> they're just listening to your balls the whole day long. They listen? I thought they're supposed to put sound in your balls. That's what they want you to think with the whole time. <laughs> well... I don't know. Jury's out on him. I think they got little cool. cups. Can you talk like... into them? And you know, I don't know. Do they have uh, there's a bunch sound? of sperm in there. I've, I've done, <laughs> I've done phone calls with them, but I don't know where my sound is going. It, you know, Steve wanted I think, I to think, know. I think these are microphones down on the end. That's cool. Steve said that like there is some new data about the new iPhone that's coming out. <laughs> Who's that cool guy with the white things hanging out of his ears? Is that George Michael? What you, wow. Too uh, soon? I know. Yeah, hey, I Too like, soon. We, we know. We know you it's brought not. me up too soon for me. I'm George Michael. You brought me up too soon. I brought you up before you go, go. See, that trivializes his death. I... I <laughs> It's, I called, did a, it's called paying tribute. I love George Michael. I, he was a huge philanthropist, and he was an awesome dude. He, I pay tribute. You mocked his death. <laughs> you you yank a victim one of his songs and incorporated his death into one of his songs. That's there's difference. It's like those SNL weekend update jokes where they'd be like, "The creator of the Oreo died on Wednesday, and his casket was buried between two slices of chocolate casket." And it's like, yeah, I've, you've yes. done this before. That's the exact- joke is someone died. You horrible ghouls. <laughs> But kids are off limit. <laughs> what have you been up to? I'm just hanging out. Get, you, some, you, get you, some errands done. I've been putting off some errands over the last couple of years. <laughs> Getting it, have a shelf I wanted to put up. Got to put it up. Kate couldn't do it by herself. That shelf, this is a two-person job. I can't, did a- can't, can't hold up one side of the shelf and the other side of the shelf. <laughs> one person. Who, who did you have do it with you? Matt Berry? My, my wife. Oh, okay. I, I said, Kate, oh. put up a shelf. Well, Organ- I can organized out. all my uh, cables <laughs> by color. Well, it was, a, it was a huge fucking cockroach. It was the craziest, biggest cockroach. It was a cockroach the size of Ted Danson. <laughs> Just... A Ted Danson sized cockroach? <laughs> um, Two stars of Creep Show. A cockroach the size of Malin Ackerman. I saw her name on the in the Super Bowl. I was, I was trying to fill my iCloud of references like up with new shit. I got those ear pods. Wait, yeah, I, I can't see it. Now, the, the, there's a Ted Dance inside cockroach. It's under you. It's under you. Is, is he going to open up a bar uh, <laughs> after his failed baseball career? <laughs> Uh, don't worry about it. It's one of those. Don't it, worry about it. What's a co- it's, it's, not one those co- it's one of those. It's one of those LA cockroaches that's like basically just a beetle. It's like not really a cockroach. Yeah, it's like a they don't outdoor do anything beetle. Except be gross. Yeah, it's like a horseshoe crab, like a prehistoric like uh, horseshoe yeah, crab. That, that made it better. <laughs> uh, well, uh, okay. All right. So all right. T- uh, well, technology corner. We already d- we did it with the earpods. Okay, fine. So, and also, be careful with those. I'm going to add this to the technology corner. This comes to us from our people at, at Joe Rogan's desk. Uh, uh, a friend of mine heard on Joe Rogan's podcast that someone said someone suggested there's a setting in your iPhone you can you can change your 
all of the color to black and white, you can remove all the color from your phone's display. It spikes your dopamine a little bit less, makes it easier to put your phone down. Oh, what is the life code? hacks? What's the what's the <laughs> ways what? to make your phone less <laughs> crucial to your life what? psychologically? What do you do? Did you tap it what with four fingers it? five times? What, what, what's the no? Code? There's no shortcut that I know of. It's like and it's it's horrendously hidden in a bunch of like it's it, an accessibility, it, accessibility sure, features, right? and then like it's still from there. That you're like nine menus deep, but you'll find it. You'll be fine. And then also whatever I did I, it for a while. And but then but was how like, am I going to play Bubble Witch if I can't tell which color the bubbles are? <laughs> And how will you know about her delicious crimson uh, locks? Oh, did you, uh, did you, did you get into Bubble no, Witch? No, you showed it to me. You yeah. Me I, 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 Dan asked me what game I was getting into. I showed him Bubble Witch, and it's a, it's a redhead in tights so who's blowing up bubbles. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I just got my kitty fountain updated. Uh... Nice. Awesome. How's your how's your how's your health? Your physical health? You're somewhat notorious for uh, your compulsive scrubbing of your butthole, uh, scalding of it. Uh, you had a parasite in your stomach at one point. Yes. Uh, when was the last time you scalded your butthole, Rob? Is, is that, is, I mean, it's been a couple of years. That's a, thing, that's, a, that's a thing of the past now. Yeah, it's a thing of the past. Okay. I've moved on. I'm, I'm good. I'm. Uh, you I've, look thin as hell. You, you look like Triple Jim Shrub back from the day. I got a trainer again. I oh yeah, because yeah. used to go. Rob, we used to call him Triple Jimmer oh, because man. he would go to the gym three times a day. I was, I was seriously crazy. Well, you're acting like he's just recently gone through some fat phase. He's like he's Shrub. She's always been. No, but no. He, he looks leaner and meaner than than. than I got a trainer. He's like this. This uh, I believe he's like like this twenty eight year old like kid who just came from like Texas or or whatever. And he beats the shit out of me. He just beats the shit out of me. And then you that guys sounds work easy. Out? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I wake up every morning five o'clock. He just beats I give him a nudge. <laughs> And he beats the shit out of me. And then you go do cross. We go. Do we go yeah, yeah. cross train? Do you know who he voted for? No, I don't. Are I you? don't have that conversation. <laughs> I've learned to not have that conversation. What, what, where, where, where do you? Where, what are you? What, what's been going on with you and your your political part of your brain? What? what how are you handling this? I don't code? like it. I'm okay. upset. I'm right. really upset. But, <laughs> but mostly you're just into animal rights. I see on the Twitter, yes. you're like, you yeah. know, everybody you, you, else is like, the judicial branch can't be dissolved. Then we won't have checks and balances. And you're like, this Shih Tzu needs help. <laughs> I'm not a hardcore on it. animal rights activist and full on vegan, like like straight yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Yep, yep. <laughs> Super popular with with people. I think, we, yeah. No, oh, it is. It will be. Again. Is, is, is Kate a vegan too, or is she? Is she She's a uh, vegetarian, but not vegan. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Airbuds, black and white phone. Lift. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's it. We're we're, we're out of show. Wait. No. <laughs> well, I want Rob to keep doing what he was doing. Yeah, let I thought him he was go, timing keep going me. then. What is it, Levy's? Like you, you, you want me to tell people I bought a gun? We could talk. We could talk about. Uh, you bought a gun. You bought a gun. We could talk about. Why did you buy a gun? Because you secretly want to kill somebody. It's the only reason. Because to buy I a gun. secretly know that in the event that uh, you are hoping for that event to happen, so you could kill something. That's not true. You're a secret Charles Bronson. You no. See, secretly. I've discussed this with hope. my therapist, and I have a right to buy a gun. She said, as long as you're, it's not for you, uh, and it's not for anyone in the immediate future. Oh well, it never God. starts out like that. No. God. But in all fairness, Dan's therapist is Sam Peckinpah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we, we landed, we didn't talk about this, because in between San Francisco, which was our last show, and now, we, we, we w- flew in from San Francisco to LAX, and it was like, the airport was deserted, because the protests had just started, yeah. and uh, we spent like five and a half hours, Jeff was there longer, uh, Church showed up to take pictures, but we were, like, we were just there in the midst of this historical thing. I'd never been at a protest, and uh, uh, I thought it was like... I mean, it was it was amazing. I hate to sound like some weird tourist, but that's literally what we were. We had luggage, um, and uh, Je- Jeff had his Vivian Westwood suits over his shoulder, and his newsy cap, and his fancy jacket, and and he kept he kept like he, w- he was able to just go up to the cops and find out what's going on, like 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 hey, what's going on? And they're like, oh, just protecting people's right to free speech, you know. And, and, uh, it was a very it was a very there, there like, was a moment uh, after you guys left. Uh, we had an agreement with the police that we were like f- when we got there, we were blocking all of the traffic. For 
when we got to like you know probably six hours after it started, we got to like around five or six o'clock. It had been going on all day, um, and we were blocking everything. And then finally, the police came in giant force. All these cops came. And uh, if you follow, if you follow a church uh, uh, on uh, like Instagram or Facebook, or whatever, she's am- amazing photos of it. All these cops came, and then they. But the, they, and the they, cops they, came from the direction that we weren't facing, so you could very quickly go from texting, <laughs> tweeting about how you're at a at a protest and you're so cool because you're at a protest. They're like, huh? Looks like looks like people are protesting and they're chanting, and here I am. I'm. Uh, I'm 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 just sixty minutes back here. I'm just te- and and then and then there's lights flashing because it's a concourse, and then everyone turns around, and you're like, everyone's facing my direction now. <laughs> okay, phone away, and just staring at riot shields like six feet away, and then look at, doing a double take, and realizing the guy next to me is wearing a football helmet and homemade. I took a picture with him and, and tweeted it, but it was like I, I did a double take, and that guy was like, hey, hi, and, and, and he's like, her. I love Rick and Morty. <laughs> and, and it was just like, Wait, that, holy fuck. That, that guy with the homemade gas mask and the whole thing yeah, was yeah. a Rick and Morty fan? Yeah, there were a lot of Rick Why and Morty fans. Why was it homemade? Why has he got a homemade helmet? Well, it was a football he, helmet. He, he had like a, like, a, like a lacrosse helmet on with a, with a, like a Home Depot. And he Depot, had a riot shield? Like sawdust mask. No, no. Mask, he, had, he, had a, he had a gas mask, like a kind of a, it was, it was, it was a mask you, I think you get at Home Depot for painting. I think if you work in like. These are our police? <laughs> no, this was another guy that was protesting. Next Why has he got a thing on his face? He's anticipating a- activity that may uh, involve him breathing tear gas or getting hit with a baton. How did so you he, understand that he complimented you if he had a gas mask on? That was my joke. It was very muffled. I love you. Good morning. So he didn't say it. He did. <laughs> It's a popular show. He might have said, I'm not saying it is. He might have said it's, it's, it's 740. Most of the people were like, where's season three? I was like, get back to protecting democracy. For <laughs> It was insane. I was like, that was the only thing that called me is that these kids are fucking like really into my cartoon. Like, like, I'm, I'm like, 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 I don't know how to tell them. My heart is pounding in my chest. Like, I'm like, I'm like relocating my phone to different pockets. I'm like, I think there's a bottle cap down here. Could that cut my arterial like uh, arteries, which are the best kind? Kind of arteries, um, <laughs> classic. The classic arterial artery. It says every the, 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 the new arterial artery. It's arter arterial. All right. Um, d- 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 don't use a venal artery. You were looking for a bottle cap in your pocket. I was like struggling. Like like I'm like he I'm like worried, freaking he, out because I'm thinking I'm gonna get arrested place. for the first time. I'm gonna get. Manhandled by people that aren't my family for the first time, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get like pepper sprayed. I'm gonna I ha- I've had to pee for four hours. I'm going straight to uh, you know Buzzfeed or something. It's like I'm gonna have piss down my leg as I'm like loaded like a Lincoln log into a into a paddy wagon. And and but 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 the other kids were just like, when's season three coming out? And like so, I, I was like, well, they I don't think they're very. When scared. is season three coming out? They're. D- Ooh. I mean, you gotta have a date and time. I think, I think, I think it's time for the uh, uh, season three uh, Rick and Morty update rap. Hey, uh, uh, you want to rap? Hang on a second. Give me a second. How have you been, Dan? Ta- talk about things. How have you been, Dan? I haven't seen you in a while. I've been good. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> They're drawing it. <laughs> They're drawing it. They're drawing it. Here's how cartoons work. First you write them. Then you draw them. For a really long time. Everything needs to be on paper. So you can see it. So if all I do is write it, and then put it on TV... It'll look like a script. (laughs) Instead of Rick and Morty, which you seem to like. So when you ask me where it is, the answer is... They're drawing it. 
And when you tell me to stop being political and get back to drawing it, I don't draw it. I know it looks like I do. That's called style. Those artists are still actually talented and went to school. If I literally drew it, the show wouldn't exist. It would be, uh, it would just be Pac-Man fighting Garfield. Those are the only things I know how to draw. They would be illegal. Unlike our blatant Back to the Future ripoff. They're drawing it. And they'll be drawing it until they're done drawing it. And then... Adult Swim will choose when to air it. Not me! Because I don't own a network. It's called TV. The T is for television. V is for very much not my decision. When to air things. Because remember how you learned who I am? I'm the guy who writes and produces things that end up not on TV a lot because I don't control whether things are on TV or not. If I did, we'd be in season nine of Community and it would be 48 episodes a year and there they would, they would also just be shows about me taking a shit. <laughs> I would, I would be at every show. I would because I don't. I'm gonna stop when you say stop. I'm gonna fuck your mama like the head of a mop. A hip hop to the hip hop, a hop. One day Superman came down. He said, "I'm Superman, so comparatively you're a clown." I said, "Ha ha 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 ha." Uh, Superman got his woofers and tweeters out. I said, motherfucker, democracy is gonna shout with your titties out. A roundabout. I got the gout. Superman ate too much rich food. Heavy creams and sauces. He thought he, he thought he was impervious to them because he's Superman. A lot of people don't know. Totally normal internal digestive system. He he can succumb to things like gout. A lot of people say gout is Superman's kryptonite. From a strictly dietary standpoint. However, <laughs> gout can never actually kill him. He can... <laughs> Because he, he's... Tr- on his phone. He's fucking... Sh- 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 <laughs> Anyways. They're drawing it. They're drawing it. And while they're drawing it, I'm making a million things. And they take a long time to make. And Spencer's fucking killing it on Harmon Quest yeah. Season 2. Oh, yeah. Uh... Straight up, like, 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 I, I, if I thought for a second that it was like there was a little bit of it that was going to be bad, I wouldn't, I wouldn't set him up by saying that. It was like totally his show. He's like running it. I showed up. I played D and D, and he's fucking like him and his huge team of awesome people that worked on season one. There, I, I saw that. It's just ama- I'm so excited about Harmon Quest. I'm not saying there, there's nothing. Don't let that show up in an article where it's like, here's why Rick and Morty's late. Dan's excited about Harmon Quest. It's not related. They're drawing it. <laughs> They have to draw the things. I will say and did say the well, reason it was late, the reason they got a late start drawing it is because I am fucking slow and shitty and unpredictable as a writer. I, the buck stops here with that. I'm done th- with that part. You can't now tell me to go faster. It doesn't make any sense. I confessed to my crimes after I, it was too late to make you're, me change. You're yelling at the audience. <laughs> you're yelling at them. Anyways, it's 9-11, probably. It's, is it 9-11? It, it, it looks like 9-10. Too soon. Too soon. Moment, moment of silence for the Bowling Green uh, massacre victims. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've you, heard that are you, are you booing Douglas my mainstream political enough. jokes? Or... <laughs> or <laughs> I could have uh, stopped it. Do you, do you have any po- actual p- political jokes? Let's do, let's do a Dan Harmon joke corner where you tell a joke. Uh, <laughs> no. 
Uh, Doesn't have to be political. But, but, you know, any any just proper joke, joke like a bug. Like or oh, well, I thought it was a political joke. Oh, if, if you if you've got one, yeah, lay it on us. All right, so uh, Kelly and Conway walks into a uh, 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 chamber. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I, I, that's how all good jokes start. <laughs> and uh, chamber. And there's uh, there's a vortex in it. <laughs> and uh, a door to the south. <laughs> <laughs> and she and she, and there's other people in there, and they're she wants to save them because they're Nazis or something, and and so and so she says. I'll tell you what, you guys uh, run, and I'll put the vortex where my soul should be, and uh, and, and they and they say, but how will you keep your your physical form from desiccating in, in, in this like really on the nose evil way? Like you, you like like how will you keep yourself from looking like an over the top sorceress? Um, like as if there's like weird like permanent mascara tears going down. The, 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 the lines where your veins supply blood to to your eyeballs um, from, a, from a heart that may just be a, a black rock that glows and pulses rather than beating. Um, and she's like, I don't know, I'll just deal with it. Uh, and, they, and they run, all the Nazis run, and they're like, yay, we're free, we made it out of that chamber where there was a vortex. And, and then she's like, I made it too. And, and they're like, but you... By the way, if you guys have heard this, you can stop them at any time. <laughs> Uh, no, but uh, I don't have any political jokes. <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to stop you. It's really hard not to make fun of Kelly and Conway's appearance because you. But it's like it's like one of those. Uh, weird... she, she looks like the lead singer of Hannah I Rocks. It's a it's a it's a catch twenty two because you're like Look you know up. what part of this is you want to be woke you want to be on the right team it's like like we want to live in a right. it's like we're, you're you're no. then you're so you're using tools that the, the enemy the, the, the uses to go like oh pre- she's an ugly woman like like well that's not really the point it's just more like she looks evil yeah. No, the, the president of the United States, uh, fat and feminine and everything possible, shamed everybody. We're allowed to say he has a giant ass, and she looks like the lead singer of Hanoi, Hanoi Rocks. Yeah. <laughs> but you can hear it's not going over well. Because they don't know. Look, just look up the lead singer of Hanoi Rocks. <laughs> All right. It's like picture pages. Like, there's supplemental material to our entertainment. Yes. There was this thing called picture pages <laughs> starring a man that turned out to be a famous rapist. Uh... <laughs> He was so famous for rape. <laughs> well, he is. I'm saying he turned out. He ended up a famous. Ended up more famous for that than pudding. Yeah, <laughs> you, you got to admit. Uh, yeah. He's the second least powerful rapist in America right now. <sighs> what, what, I don't, Who's the I, least I, I, I don't powerful know the, rapist in America? No, 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 second most, I meant. Oh, okay. There we go. Let's check in with Spencer and see what's going on in China. Hey guys. <laughs> I got these pickles. This isn't... We can't carry on. Why did you bring pickles? They're great. Where'd you get the pickles? Cause From Artisan Cheese Gallery. Oh. Spencer's into pickles now. Hey, oh. go to Baller Hardware. They sell pickles at the hardware store. No, they I know, don't. I know. They sell pickles at the hardware store. And right. I went, why are you selling pickles at the hardware store? And they said, because they're fucking good, man. And Baller went, Hardware? Let me try some of these pickles. And I... Finish the jar. They're good, man. That sounds great. You got to get these pickles, man. Are they their own brand of pickles, the hardware store people? No. <laughs> they're just name brand pickles and they I, stock? I, I, no, they're not name brand. They, I guess they're made in Silver Lake by a, a friend of the guy who owns the hardware oh, store. Oh, that's awesome. So I, I can go get some keys made, buy some light bulbs. Get some pickles. Get some pickles. Get some pickles. This sounds like one-stop shopping. And leave. Yeah. They got the small baby pickles, and then they got the larger ones, too. So you really I are... Get, I get one of each. <laughs> S- Spencer, can I try one of your uh, one of your uh, pickles? Yeah, they're in the back. I bet Steve could bring them can out. Can you bring out these pickles? Steve, would you bring out the goddamn pickles? 
you really are getting into home improvement, which is funny because when I uh, I got fired from Community, Thanks, I kind of like I started hanging shelves and shit. It was like some weird impulse. And you you are we allowed to talk about the fact that you, well, it's all over the place. Well, if I know what you're talking your, about, your relationship with Lego has has reached a conclusion, and, yes. and now you're putting up shelves. Just that's what I did. After yes, community. I had a lot of errands to, to that I've been putting off, and I had to leave Lego to put up some shelves. <laughs> Do my laundry. What do we got here? There's ones that are peppers and ones that are pickles. Oh, these are fucking delicious. Right. Gig. They're so good. Did you Gig. just eat a pepper or a pickle? I think that was a pickle one he grabbed. Give me some of them. Give me it's a pickle. It's like a, almost like a bread and butter pickle. Give me, give yeah, me. it's the only thing that's a Hand sweet me pickle some of them I'll, pickles. I'll enjoy. I mean, I, I would put that on a sandwich or I just eat oh. them. Right, you just eat them straight. They're eat great. Them out of the fucking I want to eat some of these pickles. All right. <laughs> Is there anyone in the audience... <laughs> They're spicy too. Yeah, they're spicy too. Oh, I eat some pig. Get a pickle. People pay ten dollars for this show. Oh my god. Pay ten dollars. Waited in line. But right now, right now, if you are a new subscriber to the to the live stream, your your uh, your subscription fee goes to the ACLU. Match. We match your donation. We don't we don't send your money to the ACLU. We're gonna match your donation. I guess that's a legal thing. Like we don't like we we match it. Yeah. yeah. If if you subscribe now to the live feed, we're gonna match um, all of your money. Until the March, uh, the, the, when we find out that uh, Donald Trump is a bad person on the tax march. But yeah. hey, we ha- we haven't found out if he's a bad person yet. Yeah, All we're right. gonna hope we're gonna hope to find that out one day. Is there anybody in the audience that, and since it's been kind of a sausage uh, uh, tea party up here, named uh, Thomas C. Howell? <laughs> <laughs> I would go with a lady's first rule, but 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 I'm just more curious. Is there anybody in the audience who's kind of a Say a veteran protester, somebody who's been at like more than like five protests. Uh, nobody. Wow. We're, Four protests. Well, that's important to know too. Like we're all. I mean, we're. We, you guys are like me. Like like we don't. We, we're. We've entered new times where like. What, what, what about lower, what, lower the number? What about a woman that was uh, <laughs> women here that were at the at the, at it, the are you, are you march? Co- oh, you're just coming up. You didn't raise your hand, but you're. Okay, no, no, it's fine. And you definitely, I don't, yeah, you look like a, a protester. Come on up. Uh, hey, yeah, man. what's your name? I'm Harry. Harry? Okay, it's Harry, Harry, everybody. Hey, everyone. Do you want a pickle? Uh, no, I vodka? actually really don't like pickles. I will take a vodka, You'll love though. these pickles. These pickles are, these pickles are pretty pickles good, Pickles are man. like cats. Everyone thinks I'll love their cat. Everyone thinks I'll love their pickles. Well, everyone's cats are bad, but these pickles are good. <laughs> So, Harry, these pickles are off the fucking deep yes, end, Harry. To treat yourself to one of these pickles. I'm going to stick with no pickles. Harry. Take the pickle. <laughs> I'm protesting a protester. these pickles. Don't make, don't, don't protesting fucking make drink, it. Drink, 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 the, drink that uh, dill juice, Harry. Harry, drink that dill juice. Harry, come on, you fucking pussy. Drink that dill juice, man. No, I mean, I'm definitely scared to drink that. No, <laughs> drink it. Drink that dill drink that juice. Dill juice. <laughs> fucking Harry, drink it. Fucking pussy, man. <laughs> Harry's not drinking the dill juice. Drink right. that dill juice. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. The gra- on the All graph, right, Harry, the, 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 the amount graph. of the amount of laughs for time spent on this bit, like it's, it's we peaked, and now we're gonna ride downhill into into the next segment. Harry. Yes. Uh. So. It was my first protest. I, I had to be flown I, into it. I was it. also there. Were you there for, at the LAX? Yeah. When we shut that shit down, <laughs> arrivals and departures. But I was also there minutes. like days prior and after. Fuck you, high people, No, Chris. no, no. This isn't for use for them. You got off on an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was flown in with luggage. Uh, no, people like. I was like, hell no, we won't go. Not until my dog sitter uh, is off duty. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's because like some get more traction than others on social media, but people seem to like arbitrarily choose when to go to things that are like consistent. Like the yeah, women's like march weekends. was like a, a set thing that happened at a time on a day. LAX was like, we kind of need you here always because there's planes keep coming in and people keep being detained. And right. like, if you're if you're trying to be there to just be like a physical body of support, like that's always needed yeah. until this shit changes. And so, and I. I well, I'm going to skip over a topic that'll make me babble for too long and put my foot in my mouth, which is but but mm. but 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 to hold the pin, I want to I want to get back to this topic after the next one, um, which is I think wh- wh- white people need to go to protest more than uh, other people. Like like yes. wh- wh- white yes. pe- white people sitting at their keyboard at home 
are doing three times as much by not doing anything because and it's not it's because society is unfair it's because of all I said I wouldn't talk about it but put a pin in that white people white people need to go to more put protests. a pin in it Harry <laughs> and move that pin in accordance with the LAPD's wishes every five minutes that's my next topic so yeah. when I was at and they LAX, eat a fucking pickle what, what I what, what is it? obviously the LAPD is more experienced than any protester okay. out there as an organization maybe not the actual cool cucumbers the 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 very ethnically diverse like um, cool cucumbers they put out on the front lines I got I mean as human beings I gotta say the first thing that hits your mind as a first time pro- protester being there I was like Got, got, like I love these protesters and I love the LAPD. It was the, the, for, it was like this weird thing. And then, but then throughout the evening, and by, by the time I got home, I was like, oh, we got played. Like, like it's like it's like oh, peaceful protest, peaceful protest. Everyone was so proud of how peaceful the protest was. Well, <coughs> the protest was peaceful because the protest was run by the LAPD. Yeah. And every time somebody started chanting "fuck the police," every, well, everybody would go like "peaceful protest, peaceful protest." We don't, we wouldn't want anyone to get arrested, tear gassed, all these things. But it's 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 really tough because like like, like we basically the protesters ended up making a deal with the LAPD. They were in constant contact with them, which I thought was a glorious thing. There's a, there is a positivity to that, right? There is a positive message that that sends, especially when the cops aren't the ones holding the detainees. <coughs> I know you're asking, you're going like, Dan, what, what is your question? No, no. Uh, but but like the LAPD isn't in charge of the detainees, but, and so and there were there were like and there's so they're you working with them, cooperating with them. It actually does provide these like spine tingling opportunities to be like, hey, maybe you guys are should be over here too. You are all like a rainbow of people descended from you know whose family tree goes up two feet without an immigrant in it. You're just wearing riot gear because that's your job. Like get over here, and it's like there's some moments where it was like they might do it. I saw an airport cop, technically not LAPD. I forget the exact distinctions there. But he cried when one of the uh, detainees got released, and then I called him on it, and he quickly got really macho yeah. about it and like wiped his tears. Church off. took some. Jeff's girlfriend took some great pictures of. Uh, the church. She could just be church. She doesn't have to be Jeff's girlfriend. <laughs> what a fucking horrible society this is. <laughs> Uh, she loves some, pickles. She, 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 she got there too late in the game to like. If she had been there, she's an amazing photographer. Like 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 it. Nothing. Nothing makes you realize other than more than photos, like how the, the history that we're living in. You see it because it looks like Time Magazine. Look, let's let's like bring history. Church up. She's sitting right here. Church, oh, okay. church everyone. Cassandra Church. Just the, 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 pictures, mm-hmm. the pictures that you took of that young lady who had, like, she had decided to focus her emotional energy on one cop as if that itself were a weapon. Like, a uh, quote unquote weapon. It's not destructive. She was just, that was a. Probably both a tactic and a very sincere thing because she was unmistakably sincere. And the cop, you said, well, you describe it. Well, it was when I first got there. And um, as you say, you know, they were in the street for a little while and then bringing people back up onto the sidewalk. And at this point, this is when all the police started pushing everybody back up onto the sidewalk. And this one particular girl caught my eye because as a photographer, I pushed my way to the front to try to get a view of everyone facing the police. And this one girl was just glued on this guy. And she had just tears, like, rolling down her face. And her sign said, um, like, Syria, Yemen, Iran, welcome here with a heart. She was sobbing and sobbing and sobbing. I was, like, leaning off the curb practically onto an officer who just kind of, like, leaned back and acted like I wasn't doing it because he could see what I saw and what I was trying to photograph. They were being very nice to photographers. They were being incredibly nice to photographers. At one point, I was on the I was on an overpass looking down at these guys, and they were smiling and waving and laughing and taking photos of me with their phones. And then they were all just on Instagram. They were hanging out. They right. were fine. There was absolutely no problem. But I couldn't hear what was being said between the girl and the officer in front of her, but he was whispering to her and trying to calm her down. And they were having some conversation that I, I, I couldn't hear from my, where I was standing, but he seemed to be consoling her. Right. She be- was pleading yeah. something with him, and trying to get him to understand, and I, from what I probably could tell by their gestures... Probably something along the lines of, I'm just doing my job. Right, and he's probably saying something like, I know I understand, and I'm just doing my yeah. job. 
Like, it's you know, okay like, just like, stay back on the curb. And, like, and, and, and that could be kind. the most important interaction that you have with, 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 with police is getting them to admit that they're just doing their job, reminding them of that the whole time because yeah. that means they don't have to be mad. They don't have to be uh, – but, but on the flip side of that, so that's why I wanted to have a, 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 a hanky face, as now I call them, because I was, like, looking around. I'm like, these hanky faces, they, they're, they're – they're, you know, are the hankies for an anonymity or tear gas? People have people have their own reasons for them. Uh, <laughs> so a lot of us just. Style. There's also an argument. I can't defend it for various reasons or like object it to it. Um, there's some articles going around about how like masking up is a form of white privilege because if you're a white person, then you still blend into the crowd. Whereas like if there's only a few people of color at the thing, they're easier to identify. I didn't uh, even follow. I didn't track that at all. It's it's just some. 2017 internet race commentary. I would say at this age, I, I think there's probably it's rooted like masking up is. It's probably, rooted in anonymity. It's ro- okay, okay. Because like you're because it's not going to filter out. No, not at all. Not at all. Certain things will. Like the the Home Depot guy who I also saw. Like his his would have helped out a bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, if they throw tear gas, your sunglasses and fabric aren't going to do shit. So at a certain <laughs> point, be- before church got there, this is what happened, which I, and I think this could be a microcosm of what we're all facing. If we're all going to be protesting and marching, it's like this is a really difficult thing because there was an exhilaration in the air. And part of the pride on the part of the protesters was, in no uncertain terms, the fact that we were working in what you have to call cooperation with the LAPD. That felt like a triumph. Now, you're dealing with a police department that has been at a million of these and they and, and so and and and, and you, but uh, on the other hand all of these individual police officers are human beings and as are the protesters but when he, I, I i get home and i see basically that the protest got successfully broken up you know and and i, and I look back at it it's like there was this moment where we were all standing and blocking uh, the upper concourse and um and the one of the megaphone people said you know here's the deal um the 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 cops are saying so far we haven't broken the law. Uh, they have because they haven't issued a disperse order. When they issue a disperse order, we have a decision to make. Are we going to uh, become criminals and turn this into a thing? That's going to end up being a news item about how we were criminals and how the crime had to be put down. Uh, on the alternatively, they've offered us a deal. They've said that we can. Uh, stand on the sidewalk for 15 minutes or 30 minutes and then disrupt for 10 minutes and then do that in alternation. And there was a pause and then uh, someone called out, 15! 15 minutes! 20! 20! 15! And it turned to The Price is Right about, about how, 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 how well, well, we're gonna, we're, we got the nuts here. And I was like, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not disparaging that. I'm just pointing out the absurdity of it. It's not... Because, because what happened was a wedge got driven in between, in, in between the people that, that have done this before and were not necessarily hoping things would deteriorate, but at the same time, probably like, that we're prepared for it. And that's always going to be a smaller group. And so that was a really, that is a tactic, right? Because they, th- rather than bother throwing tear gas at a large group of people that feels solidified, to stay in communication with them and to say, oh, we love Che Guevara. Che Guevara is your spokesman. We just talked to Che Guevara. Che, tell your people what we're telling them. We're telling you you can have free bananas if you give us half of your guns. And then there's a, like all of this stuff like starts to you 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 foment like a conversation in, in among the protesters. Before that, the, the there was no conversation. I, I, I feel like if there were a couple things that were that made that specific. One, it was. If like uh, you know church like you you were at the Ferguson uh, like protests here in L.A. Yeah, and, and it was it, a very different if, if thing. It, if it was all if it was two thousand black people at the airport, I think it would have been different. And also, if it weren't an airport, it would have been different. I, I they, they don't want to start putting uh, chemical. Like like agents out into an airport, but all that is to say that we had the leverage. They we were, had the airport shut down. Now I don't know what our leverage tourists. translated to. But well, sorry, go ahead, no, Harry. Yeah. There's think, also a difference between a protest like the Women's March where it's organized, it's in the daytime, they block off streets, and everybody knows where it's going to be and where the people will be going generally and what the plan is Right. versus 
at night, people just taking to the street because they're angry, or people showing up to a place like the airport that already has high security. Okay, so Harry... So the reaction is completely different by a police force coming out to try to contain and make sure that that's under control. And where there's multiple law enforcement agencies. Right. Right. What I'm wondering is then what was... Because what happened was... There were some hardcore elements that were like, no, then nothing happens. This is how they drive a wedge. And then there were my, my like, here I am, 44. I got, I'm hungry. My dogs are about to start pissing in the house. I've been there for five hours. Like, I didn't want, the last thing I wanted to do is be a pussy. But. You didn't see the girl who brought burritos? No, there was there was plenty. You, of food. You, know, you, you left right before the burrito guy came out. She brought a bunch of fucking burritos. Saying, like, to the extent the that I'm up in the air, like a situation got created where now conversations are starting to happen. Like logic was invited, and I remember distinctly the moment where I felt uh, at peace with stepping off of the street and onto the sidewalk, i.e., basically surrendering. The moment where I felt that that was okay, where I wouldn't then go home and hate myself for giving in was because there were like only a couple of people left who were arguing with each other and one of them was screaming at the ones who wanted to stay and sit and get arrested. Um, It's not about you! And she's not wrong. There was this messaging that was put into it. It was like, do we want the detainees to be in the newspaper? Newspaper. Uh, do do it. Do whatever. The 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 the, the Huff Pose laser right, beam, the hol- hologram, the Pokemons. Um, do do we want the story to be about the detainees, or do we want it to be about how a bunch of hippies got got stun gunned at the airport? Okay, so now, so 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 I, at that moment, I was like, here. I, I, I've done all the talking, but 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 I want to be and I, like. Here's the thing: first protest, forty four years old, like so used to always doing the wrong thing. Like I always like think that I'm I'm, I'm like oh sounds like this, and, I, and 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 then I'll like be so embarrassed. That's when I was like, okay, I now have permission to step on the sidewalk because. This very passionate young woman is going like, it's not about you. And she's talking to like four or five people. And like, I don't know and I won't know until someone else tells me whether it's the right thing to do to sit here, sit down or leave. And I, I was like, I do, what if I undercut the fucking cause? It's was like, uh, uh, community creator and, and famous fat guy. Uh, there he is. It's, it's like, what if that ends up in, in like being some kind of counter messaging or whatever? So now talk well, th- to me. Tell me what to do. I think, well, sort of contrary to that request, I think it's important no matter which side of an issue you're on not to tell other people protesting the same thing how to protest, whether that means if someone wants to get arrested for their cause, let them make that decision. Um, And if someone wants to chant a chant and hold a sign, let them make that decision. I think it's important to know what you're trying to accomplish and if what you're doing is everything you could be doing to accomplish that. So, like, if you, if you want to make real change in government policy, holding a sign and chanting a chant isn't going to do that. Because they've now incorporated that into their system if they hadn't already 60 years ago. <laughs> yeah, well, and it's just like that's, that's you being – by going to the airport, you're being a physical body supporting a message as well as actual people who are detained. But, like – if you have any illusions that what you're doing in that is really affecting larger change, which I think was one thing. Some people gave the Women's March kind of a bad rep for this, but I thought it was cool that they almost owned up to like, we don't have a list of demands. We just want to make sure you know we're here and we're not fucking cool with this stuff. Which I thought was so, that, that was the most important thing. You could look at it, it either out, way. Body count was the thing that was important. It was flesh scraping cement poured into the streets in every city around the world. That really got to our enemy. So like if, if, if you go to a protest and the police give you a directive, it's basically just up to you to assess what it is you're trying to do and if listening to that directive or disobeying it is going to further your cause. So like if you're there just for moral support, maybe don't get arrested. Uh-huh. Or do. Like, that's your choice, but it's not going to... If you get arrested, you're not going to be able to be the body there 
right showing your support so what you know so what do you think you were there did you yeah. and so you were like you know what for what we've done we shut down the airport the like 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 LAX is not the epicenter of this the LAPD is not in charge is it, is it, did you you thought it was cool to just like shrink back and kind of like continue to have a presence there it's like it's, it becomes yeah. kind of a picket line in the sense that it's like a physical reminder yeah it sort of becomes up to you also like having had been there for over a day already and knowing I was going to continue to be there. Like, those cops work long shifts. They come to recognize people who are there enough. If I'm going to continue to be there and do what I think is my best foot forward to help my cause or whatever, getting arrested doesn't help that. Th- these cops recognize me already as the guy who's been here all week. Like, it's not useful for me to step to them. I know they're Harry, not the enemy. How much time have you spent out there at LAX? Like, you've been there for multiple days? Or? Yeah, yeah. I haven't been uh, in a couple of days because at a certain point I was like, oh, I need to make rent money. Um, but I was, there, I was there for like four your... or five days. Uh, not sleeping there because I was like, I have a home to go to and I don't want to be more of a nuisance than by design. Well, I found a good tactic because we just gotten off a plane. Like Dan said, I had my, my suit. Gar- my Gar- Vivian Westwood's that garment bag over my shoulder, <laughs> and I, you know, I'm like, I'm dressed like me, and there's a bunch of hippie. Do you, did, 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 uh, Harry? And I know you. We, we all saw that dude. That was the kind of the Native American guy with a drum. That was just being the most punk rock dude in the world. The tiny drum. Yeah, he, he was just, there a bonk, lot. Bonk, just, <laughs> there was this guy dressed up like like just this Native like like Incan. I don't know what he was. Uh, just banging a drum right in the cops' faces, and they didn't like—they just let him do it. It was so cool because, like, they don't give a shit. Yeah, because he—he like, he, he was just this this great like um, mm. drum major for the whole thing. But there was a moment when the the the, 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 the organizers of the protest at LAX were saying, "Okay, guys, we, we need people upstairs and downstairs at the same time. So if, if you guys are comfortable going upstairs, we want to spread this out. Also, we need people inside to welcome the people coming out. So let's, let's make sure that we're all here and we're all there." So Church and I, I think Dan and Cody had just gone. You guys just split. And this is like on like 10 p.m. And we got there like at 5. Um, we went downstairs and we had to, it was time to go back into the street and disrupt things. So the cops said we can go and be disruptive for 15 minutes. And like we, we, we can be off the sidewalk and be out in traffic and Your walking. next scheduled disruption will be permitted in T-minus. Just so you, like, also, right-wingers are roasting you online for listening to cops, just so everyone's aware. Like, if you go and watch a right-wing chat room where they're, like, periscoping the protest, they're just like, look at these fucking idiots listening to police. Like, they don't know what they're doing. Really? The right-wing yeah. people say that? Yeah, because they're like, oh, you think you're making a change, but you're sitting here obeying cops, which I'm well, not... So those also people... because they don't know the difference between a protest and a riot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And also, hilariously, while it was happening, like every 30 minutes, because it's LAX, hello, I'm Mayor Eric Garcetti. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> while Eric Garcetti is <laughs> not at Angeles. the airport. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. There's like a guy painted blood red with a Native American drum in a cop's ear going, boom, boom, we, uh, this is democracy, this is what democracy looks like, blah, blah, blah. And, and then it's like, hello, I'm Eric Garcetti. I'm like, not a good time, Eric. <laughs> But so we, so we we were a small a, a group of people going downstairs to block the downstairs traffic too. And again, I feel bad about anybody that missed a plane or all that shit. It's a bummer. But we were trying. There, there was a lot of people being detained, and we were trying. We were hoping that that like being there was going to get all these people released. It turns out twenty five did get released, and then it, during that time, a hundred more people got detained. But planes keep coming in. Yeah, yeah. right. That's, but so, so that's so, the so, central so, issue of what's going on at LAX that I think needs to be remembered. Like, yes, there's a bigger picture of like. Trump's executive orders in the large scale and overall policies about immigration, but like specifically what's going on is people are being illegally detained and denied access to food, water, lawyers, family, like healthcare. That, yeah, also like there, there was a, okay. that's what's happening. Yeah, there was Babies, a woman elderly, there with, it doesn't with matter. Stage like four not, cancer. Not even from just those seven countries. They detained an Aero Mexico flight of like a hundred passengers. What? A woman from Amsterdam. Like they're what? just. CBP is being crazy. Like, like, like if, if you're a privileged white guy that, that has access to a to, to a garment bag, uh, <laughs> here's here's a little tip: go to a protest. Look like you just landed. Looks like 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 look like you didn't show up to the protest, planning to be the protest. <laughs> And have a garment bag, and you get to walk up to the police and talk to them, and they absolutely give you the full order of, of, of information that you don't get if you look like a protester. Because we all walked into the street, and they, 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 they all lined up, put their sticks up, their masks down on their, on their, on their, their, their uh, helmet shields, and started marching us back off the street. 
and saying, like, back on the curb, back on the sidewalk, back on the sidewalk. And like, we had a deal. We had a deal. Like, <laughs> and, and they're, nope, you got to go back on the street. So I just started, I, I went out of the crowd because I'm a tall, just, pr- privileged white guy with a garment deal. bag. We had a deal. We had a deal. <laughs> just starts and, and, walking also, over. Also, all the men got off the street. All the women in the group stayed in this fucking street and were right, like, chin up to the cops saying, like, no, we had a fucking deal. Yeah. And the cops like back on the street, back on the street. So I went down like Goldilocks and t- asked three different cops. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, uh, I, I, I put my suit garment over, over my shoulder like I'm a Cary Grant. You know, like, hey, 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 hello, hello, matey. Uh, do we change the deal? What's the difference now? We had a deal. We <laughs> and, and you guys are back in the curb, sir. I want you another cop. Deal. Hey, I, I thought we had a deal. Thirty minutes on the sidewalk and fifteen minutes in the road. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I wasn't really doing my bad Cary Grant. Impression, really committing but, to it. <laughs> but, but I, I was like, like I thought we did, did things change. What's going on, man? Like, like I, I thought I thought you told these kids there was a thing. And, and the second cop goes, "No, you got to get back on the sidewalk, sir." I went all the way down the very last cop. I said, "Hey, um, it, uh, wasn't there a thing like going on, like where there was like we could be on the thing for thirty minutes, and be out in the street for fifty minutes?" And, and the guy kind of paused and looked around, and he goes. You have to be in the sidewalk. We were just out the crosswalk. The crosswalk. 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 Uh, we, we have to be out in the crosswalk. I, and everyone, I, I ran back to the group. We had just, a deal. We got a we deal. We got a deal. I go, everybody, everybody. We had a deal. Over to the crosswalk. Like, crosswalk. Go to the crosswalk. Go to the crosswalk. <laughs> and, and the cops, the LAPD, stood on both sides of the crosswalk and protected us and let us do our thing for a while. So like, I, I couldn't believe at an airport how nice they were being about that deal because I think it was because it's an airport like they, they, don't, they, they don't want to start shit when it doesn't need to be they but weren't going to throw tear gas anywhere near the door to LAX exactly <laughs> well and I hope and I think our I think our hearts were filled with hope and perhaps naively perhaps we're being laughed at for having this hope is that it's the LAPD their job is to serve and protect the people of Los Angeles these people children of immigrants, immigrants themselves, descending on this international hub of commerce because L.A. fucking pumps and thrives with immigrant energy, foreign blood. That's America. That all of those cops also, as civil servants, are like, I am here to protect your freedom of speech. We, I think we all felt that high of like, the cops are being chill right now because they know we're right and they want us to win. And that allowed us to make deals with them and get high off of that. Oh, the teacher put an apple on my desk. Um, I think, I, I, like, I, so I, it, 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 one thing that's really important is that this sea of, like, there's like 150 people in this room and, and this, is, this is a scientific important statement, not a shaming one, that absolutely nobody here yet, this is like my predominantly white audience, um, very and, and certainly all of them, regardless of gender, background, whatever, they're all nerds. They're all like analytical thinkers, and we've all been guilty of this where we sit and we're watching what's happening, and you don't want to side with a dirty belligerent hippie any more than you want to side with a fascist cop like you your instinct because you are like me like you're like you want to be han solo he's the smart one he's the logical one he, he you were an individualist like you you that's your american values that's the way you express how you are you don't want to you don't see any merit in joining a throng what good could come of that and I, and, I, and I don't want to ever tell you what to do, and I, I'm proud of the fact that my audience has never protested. Um, but, like, I'm, I'm now saying, like, because this time is crucial, I'm 44, I don't, if you're 25, you may have been a child when the dangling Chad election happened and you felt like, well, this is just sort of how it goes. There's a lot of contention sometimes. This is nothing like that. Like, we're living in a fucking history book right now, and it's shit is going down, and we don't have to be doomsayers, but we don't have to choose between that and being naive, but... I think that it is valuable for us to get out there and 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 it's easier than you think to just go like well maybe it's easier than you think let's ask Harry um like you can show up to this shit and no one is going to demand that you handcuff yourself to a redwood tree and get cut down with it like like you can show up and dip your toe in you can bring crispy cream donuts like 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 pr- if you believe in privilege um, then privilege is a weapon at these places. Like, like your 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 lily white face, your 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 lack of antagonism, like as unfair as it is to to a cop that's looking through a, a riot helmet. Like, like it actually can be a tool that you're not using if you don't go to these things. So Cody and I are, you know, 
trying to we're figuring it out like we got to go to this shit i think black lives matters protests like must be in dreadful need of big fat white people like just <laughs> like just to just to like go into the middle there's a hand raised here let's all do it Let's all do it right now. Like, there's got to be a protest going. Um, well, that's I, yeah. I mean, I like, don't really, like, I, I, the thing is, um, we 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 have a president who doesn't read and doesn't probably know how to read well, and wh- whether he's you know dyslexic or he just has whatever, like he's just like a willfully like ignorant person. Uh, he cannot and does not look at words, but he does look at images. And I think the only thing that can really fuck him up is the visual stunning images of a zillion people protesting his every fucking move. And I think the thing that fucked him off more than anything in the world was the day after a shittily attended inauguration was that women and, uh, and, and a couple honorable, like, like honorary dudes uh, got to go out there and filled the streets with the biggest protest in the country's history. And he does see pictures because he's a child. Um, and, 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 uh, he, 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 he wouldn't, yeah. So we have to go to every fucking thing. And Armenians are, you're on the spectrum. You're logical. You're like thinking, like, like, like we need your, we need you to, like, just, I, no one wants you to be different. No one wants you to be less logical, less analytical, less alienated, less isolated. All, I, I, I'm just suggesting for a second that that logical, analytical brain, what's that? <laughs> hear him out hear him out <laughs> why everyone but that guy is invited I, 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 I'll answer I, I'll answer your question protest. in a second sir I think I know what your question is I, 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 I will why do we need white people for the black lives matter because because Black Lives Matter protests are, are not suggesting that black lives are the only ones that matter and and, 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 and no, right okay Right. Because right. cops right. love us is the answer. Because yes, but it's it's also cops. very important. Like as white people assess the value you bring to the table, some of which is your privilege, but also like don't forget to listen to people who are way more disenfranchised than you. Like if you show up to a Black Lives Matter protest as a white person, fucking listen to the black people when they tell you what to do or to not do. Yeah, church. Like you, you were saying at the Ferguson thing that you, you were among the white people at the Ferguson uh, protest, and that you got big respect and like lots of love for being there. Right? Oh well, I, I, I was among many white people who were who were there joining them in their effort because you know, and the thing, the conversation that I had with a couple of girls as we as we marched and were met by police every time we turned a corner was the fact that they were happy that I was there and to see so many white people turning up to support them and not just white people but you know Mexicans coming out and being like yeah like black lives matter because what they need is is to not be preaching to the choir and to not just be yelling amongst themselves was how they communicated it to me they're like we need yeah. we need to sh- the community to show that they support this idea yeah, whether I want to they're be able to black connect themselves with this guy or not because he may be voicing like a like an id part of the brain that's like like or, or not to diminish that but it's like i want to make sure i understand to the extent that you're speaking for some part of our brain, like, well, what's the point of all of this egalitarianism if we're talking about these, like, now we're going to become little fascists and say, we need more white people here and we need black people here. Like, we're becoming too racially conscious. And maybe that's part of your what you're responding to is like, like, wait, I thought you were liberals. Why are we now talking about people like they're insects and sorting them by race? Isn't that what we're trying to get away from? I, 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 I'm not putting words in your brain, but like, like, like maybe that's like what you're responding to. Um, white, I, 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 I white, just, uh, white people listen to other white people too. Like historically, they don't listen to black voices. Exactly. I, I, co- so co- like, co- while you should, while you should, as a less. white person, be the person in charge. Like, be the messenger to your white friends. Um, sure. It's, but also, there's an other thing. It's like, 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 just even if you don't leave your apartment, like that analytical brain of yours that fires on the pistons, you know, like, like, it, it, it's really, really easy. It feels really comfortable. It's like a foot slipping into a warm ug like like to to fall back on that. If you if you if you're Spock and you're watching what's happening right now, you're definitely like if you commit to that Vulcan energy. You are definitely always going to be like, well, 
none of this really makes any sense. It doesn't really make sense to do anything. That, that, that will ne- doing stuff will never hold up to logic. And I think that that it's just like, all I'm saying is like, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you that your drunk uncle, um, who has spent like a really criminally long time, like not giving a shit about this stuff is like super alarmed. And you can chalk that up to like, Oh, you're, Drunk uncles got to that age where you start caring about that shit. Forty-five-year-old people are uncharismatically political. Like, like that's what happens. I'm 25. I got I fucking care about Bitcoin. I don't give a shit about this. <laughs> um, I, 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 but, but, and, and I don't know that you're wrong. I, I will only just tell you that your drunk uncle has decided that this is fucking like we're entering a, a crossroads of like there's fourth reich or there's like like rebirth uh, or probably something in between but like as people keep saying like you know all those fantasies about time traveling and going back to these points in history and what would you do if you were there you are actually in one right now and you have never been in one i have never been in one i'm 44 and i've never ever i never did this i voted for ross perot when i was 18 and thought like i was like yeah fucking stiff the system um and so i guess i thought i could because there was a third party allowed at the debates and i was like this guy's neat and he's like what do i care about abortion Sad, you know, balance the budget god damn it if a raccoon don't hunt who cares if it's pregnant um and i, and I was like so and, and 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 it's worth noting that that probably makes me a guy that might have been susceptible to a kind of like weird hacky trump like kind of thing like 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 if i was 23 these days um and I, but and i doubt a, a lot of those people are in, in in my audience but but I, I at the same time i think a lot of my listeners are probably like very wisely guardingly like yeah but I don't want to be one of these like liberals that like screams and shrieks and goes like you that like 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 I hate you know like like it's like it throws your logic triggers and you go like that's not that can't be a good result like this is all about escalation I see that a lot all I'm saying is so then what you could do is like and if we have to coordinate it like through this podcast or something so that you know for instance hey i'll be there too and we'll have donuts and coffee and like 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 the like let's let's go to this shit i was yeah i would say let's put out a like whatever we can do to put out that bat signal and say like like because we live in la like let's make sure that the people that live here know that like like if, if it matters we're going there and also let's find out like for people that are listening around the country and around the world where they're going to go and let's all like make a loud noise like Spencer I want to ask you because you you've been very vocal like like Twitter and stuff like that about like your you know like you you've been very activist like talking about stuff are, are you a physical activist like want to go out and do stuff or are you more like <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm not making a joke like, like are you are you someone that would actually get out there and like no uh, my flight came home a day early <laughs> so no, I did not make I, it I, out. I, I'm not making a joke. But like, are, are you someone that would, would take to the streets? Like, would you get out there and like? I'm for it, sure. Yeah, yeah. I I say we do. It. Certainly, there's the one in L. A. for the uh, the tax thing on a uh, was it? That's not till like April though. April, yeah, yeah. No, no there was a march today at Pershing yeah, no. Square. Yeah, there was. There, today there, was. There, uh, there's no loads dabble. of marches all like right. like like almost every day. There might be ways to foment like change rebellion get the health out of this process that has nothing to do with you going and holding up a sign or a clever uh, t-shirt or whatever uh if you're uh, a hacker don't go to a protest fucking get those tax returns <laughs> like stay home and work if, on your if you're a fan fiction writer start one of these rogue government accounts and 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 do like 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 lie and spread propaganda, messaging, like resources. figure out ways to whittle away at the heart of the American people. Yeah. <laughs> like, like go, like, like, like go, like, yeah, like, what is the angle? Like, 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 because the the frontal assault of the of the opposition party was like through these like kind of like really brute force misspelled memes and stuff. It was like it appeals to some lizard part of our brain. I don't think we should compete in that playground. But when I see these like rogue uh, government accounts, like it occurs to me, it's like if this is fake, 
then this is amazing anti meme technology because it draws in like the mo like like turning turning the idea that there's rebellion going on into fan fiction, for instance, and actually properly punctuating and using good grammar to to create the illusion that you're reading a Twitter feed from inside the White House as, as the as the rebellion is happening. It's like that's all like a really important way to use your nerdiness, your 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 whatever. What are we talking about? Uh, 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 what can we do to help? Uh, You're already doing it. In the words of Jello Biafra, don't hate the media, become the media. Go take photos. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm asking from the perspective of an audience that's also being kind of encouraged here, but you know, it occurs to me that not everybody in this audience may actually agree with what we're saying, and a lot of the listeners oh, that's either. Shit. But <laughs> then, but call me and we can talk about it. I want to know what you feel. If if you disagree, I'd love to hear how you feel. But I do think that, like, whatever that means, not everybody's going to be able to go out and protest or, or or whatever it is, you know, that we're talking about. Um, You're raising you, your 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 you, fingers and in- well, let's let her talk, maybe. <laughs> To support certain, to, yeah. to support in things like the yeah. ACLU. For, for, for everybody's yes. birthday or, or, or upcoming, like if you if, like if you're gonna buy, like I said, like on Twitter, like uh, Valentine's Day or anybody's upcoming birthday, instead of getting them some meaningless like little trinket or whatever like that, just donate any any small amount of money to ACLU because especially they, they, your redneck made, families. They, they, like, they, like I, I, I think they average like an. an, an Three and four million dollars in donations a year. It's it's, it's over twenty million dollars, I think, right now. Be- like since like two weeks ago, like since he took so office. So also start giving money to more other organizations. Exactly. Because ACLU is good for him. Man. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, right, yeah, like, <laughs> like, 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 yeah. like no shots. Sierra doing Club. Matching, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good. But like also, there's like we gotta. You can't just give to one. A I might have choked back. But, but yeah, we kind of like got in on it, and then we're like, they just reported that they have two hundred billion dollars. Uh, but I think, but also, I think the ACLU can use every penny. Absolutely, that absolutely. That's not to, to say that. we shouldn't be. But, also, yeah, but, but, but yeah, donate like like time if you if you don't have money, donate time, and if you don't have time or money, donate your voice if to stuff. If like you're that. a foodie and a and a chef, and you're barely political, you might just be like, I feel bad for. Hungry. Hungry people that are protesting at these places. Like, it, I, I think the important thing to know, as a person that got dropped privilegedly and and lazily into the middle of a protest and found out it's actually very comfortable and easy, is like, <laughs> and and now therefore may have the courage to like like get up and like put on my fanny pack and like go to one. Um, uh, is that is that it's a, it's easier than you think. It's not a criminal activity. You don't have to commit to like take me to jail. Make me in the face like I think the numbers count the complexions count for bad reasons sir um, uh, the, it's it's because it's an unfair system whatever it's like like it's just a strategy it's just more strategy saying like get the the more news articles about a bunch of people like showing up and saying this is bullshit it, yeah, it, I think the imagery them. is going to speak louder because people stopped reading and people don't believe anything that's told to them I think pictures of who showed up to which inauguration are are undeniable and the fact that a zillion women came out uh, like that like what beats that shit like like nothing beats that and it was all over the world like people did it everywhere how about the fucking like 12 people in bitter ass cold Alaska that's like 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 hats off to all of like 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 that picture made me cry like that that's heavy fucking hitting like the, the, like the, a picture says way more than any tweet or anything like that and and, and a bunch of people smiling and the fact that there were no arrests and everybody like you, I, I kept stepping on people's toes and they were cool about it uh like during the women's protest it was it was fucking magical yeah. Also, I'm so sorry to everybody that's listening from Alabama, Wyoming, all this stuff. Like, like, where I'm like, I'm always taking shits, and it's like I fall for that like red versus blue thing, and it's like you see these photos. It's like, oh, it's Alabama, and there's like people like, thrusting signs in the air. It's like fuck Nazis, you know. It's like, of course, of course. You know, course. Dan, the, the way to make like, it up to them is because it's about the end of the show. Is maybe, <laughs> maybe you do a nice laid back uh, apology to those people. <laughs> And uh, you know, church. If you want to do like the Rihanna hook on it, you know, cause oh my God, church is yeah. She's also. Oh my God, I forgot about church's other other identity. Yo, 
<laughs> it's about to get so also, goddamn Trob, laid Spencer, back. Spencer, Harry, if you want to get in here. Yo. It's about time. About time for the rhyme about democracy. Stop hip hop, hip hop, hip hypocrisy. <laughs> From the A to the B, for, to the C to the D to the E F G to the H I J K L M N O P. Alphabet letters. X Y Z. I'm talking alphabets. But that's off topic. Language. What do you use when you fuck your mama's pussy? Do you blow her fuse? Go down to the breaker. I, I, I brought your mama. I take her. I take her into the bedroom. Till the break of dawn. I fucked your mama to the break of dawn. Why is it that we fuck to the break of dawn? Is that a, a, a hard out? <laughs> Or is it more, are we saying, like, well, I'm going to fuck you for a long time? But the more you think about it, you start to think, like, wait, are we vampires? Does your dick stop working as the sun breaks the horizon? Oh, baby, sorry, thank you for letting me fuck you. Dawn has broken. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm just going to force myself to fucking come and... Uh, 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 my therapist is asking me to question whether neurologically I'm actually jerking off to the break of dawn at this point. I'm not even sure if I'm attracted to women. I, I think I'm becoming more of a strange dawn fetishist. I'm going to lay your body down. <laughs> Like a clown. My name is MC America. <laughs> Don't be hysterical about what's going on. Just got some Nazis on the front lawn. That's Grab your Glock 1719. Protect your block. Know what I mean? Protect your housekeepers. Protect your Jewish friends. Your Mexican friends. Protect them. The means don't I'll justify the ends. <laughs> Build a crawl space if you have the time. We may be coming up on Anne Frank times. Bomb shelter. <laughs> Not sure if you've grown the protection of innocent people or just I guess you're conditioned you, you you hear certain words and you react and that's fine but it's also why the fascist got elected <laughs> you are to blame <laughs> there's blood on your hands no matter what lever you pull my name is Otto Tune Johnson <laughs> You'd think I'd be more in tune by now. <laughs> All right. Yo, yo. My name is Yo, yo. My name is, His my name is, is yo, yo. yo. My name is Yo, yo. Yo, yo. My name is Yo, yo. Go, Joe. G.I. Joe. Yo, American hero. I fucked your mama so hard she looked like Nero. A Roman emperor. Mm, okay. History. <laughs> Woke up this morning, had some bread. Oh, I had a stomach ache, went back to bed. I took some night quill with night PM. <laughs> yo, yo. I sat up in bed, said, Whoa, I had a nightmare. Went downstairs and I went back upstairs. Nightmare and upstairs rhymes. And I went downstairs, went downstairs and had a nightmare on the stairs. I had a stared nightmare. I had a night stare. I went and stared at my own stairs. And I went, did it at night and I did it in the day. I fucked your mama so hard, her pussy grew some hay. Wait, okay, all right, here we go. Wait, but 
I want you to really belt it out. You're being, you're, you're like, uh, but I know you're waiting for me to do an unrecognizable like rap verse, and then you're gonna like fucking belt, belt out like a hook. Okay, here we go. Here we go. go. City to city, town to town, I fucked your mama's frown until it was upside down. It was a smile. I made her happy. I fucked your mama so hard the sounds were slappy. You heard my balls going up against your butt. I fucked your mama and served her hot nuts in a bowl. Walnuts too. I got the almonds. What you gonna cashew do? I got the cashew to you. Got the cashew you. Got the cashew to do. Cashew. <laughs> not oh, <yeah>. you. <laughs> if not me, then who? <laughs> Alright, sorry. Alright. Oh, yeah. Woke up on the 4th of July, said my country's in trouble, and I wonder why I went out in the street and I saw all the people. Why do I always rhyme people? It's, it's the only thing is steeple. That's the only thing you could ever do. Starting over, <clears throat> I woke up in a bed. <laughs> then I ate some bread. But that bread was freedom. My name is Hal Needham. Freedom Bricks. <laughs> Take it, church. <laughs> is that white bread? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming to Harmontown, everybody. Let's hear it. Cassandra Church. <laughs> Harry, the pickle hating protester. Rob Schraub. Adam Goldberg, Spencer Crittenden, I'm Jeff Davis, your mayor, Dan Harmon. Thank you, Harry. Harry, for sharing his... Thank you all. Let's organize. Let's take down the tangerine tyrants. And then what? Drive fast to take chances.